Right, so here we go. We're going to check out the whole park. It's got three hotels, the original kind of Billy Butlin accommodation. Uh, it's got the Skyline Pavilion, the Fun Fair, the Splash Zone, um, and we're going to go and check it all out, apart from the beach. So this is Atlantic Bay. I do like this a lot. I love that whole seaside type theming. Obviously, I can't go in the rooms, but it... Uh, it's a nice place. Yeah, it's not bad. They've got their own little balconies. It's quite nice. By the way, I know you're probably going to comment the fact that I'm wearing red and white was just coincidence. I didn't think to myself this morning, well, I'm going to Butlins. I'm going to look like a red coat, but in shorts. Well, I haven't got the red jacket on, but it's the red and white. So there are so many different options of where to stay when you're in Butlins, but the most impressive in Bognor is the Wave Hotel. It feels really strange for it to be on a holiday park, but um, it's really nice. And obviously they have some very impressive views over the park as well. And if you're a traditionalist like me and you want to get the authentic butlins and holiday camp experience, they still offer the old fashioned chalets. Let's go and take a look. It is rather strange when you uh, see the chalets and then you see that. I think they should change the roofs. They've painted it all nice colours, but maybe the roof needs to have a bit of a change. I love this though when you check out, it's like being at an airport. It's kind of cool because they almost have little bay windows, but um, you get what you pay for. When you pay for the cheaper accommodation, you're not gonna get too much bells and whistles. Although compared to a lot of holiday parks that have chalets like this, Thankfully, the doors all have proper card locks on them. Cough, it's a long walk to your apartment though. And just coming around the back, I've just noticed some of the old Butlins theming. Look at this. <laughs> so you really notice it behind kind of feels Spanishy. I like it. And of course, back in the day, this was the only accommodation you'd get at Butlins. Not the big hotels and the nice chalets they've got. Used to be this everywhere. So just walking up the stairs at the Ocean Hotel. And on the right, you've got a nice spa, so you can go and get a massage, a facial. And you've got a really cool restaurant called Kaleidoscope, which is so quirky. Which is, uh, a bit like a all-you-can-eat buffet. Pretty pink. I'm here whilst they're uh, doing some cleaning. I'll try not to get in their way. Those pretty lights from the ceiling. That is cool. I want one of those in my house with those disco balls. 
I've just noticed as well, all this is cushion. The sign is actually a bench. Oh, it's quite comfy actually. Actually, I'm lying, it's really tough. And the third hotel is the Shoreline, which has some uh, really nice sea views. <laughs> I do love these for luggage though, it makes you feel like, I wonder if they ever come from an actual airport. Let's go and take a look inside here. How oh, this is different to the other hotels. A bit more basic, this one. Love the lifts though. Feels very showbiz. I know it's a lift, but <laughs> it's quite cool. I love the carpet. It's the kind of carpet I want in my house with the whole sea theme and these uh, portholes, which obviously are mirrors. These ones you see from the front staterooms with the big balconies. It'd be nice to stay in there. So there's all the different places that you can stay here in Butlins, uh, but the main draw, other than the pavilion and the fairground, is the swimming pool. Obviously, I can't film in the swimming pool, but we'll walk up to it anyway and have a look. So the fairground is just there and coming up towards the swimming pool, which is called Splash. I'll tell you what, it's always nice to walk up to a grand entrance. It gets you excited full of intrepidation of what's to come. This also looks great at night. And on a day like today, it's got a great outside area as well where the rapids go, which you can just see there in front of us. Although it's not open today, which is a bit of a shame. Missed an opportunity for theme in there. They've even got laser tag, which you have to book separately for. I think this is brand new for this year, actually. That looks good. Wouldn't it be great if they could do paintballing? Although it's not really family friendly. And have to be done, a visit to the fun fair. These are certainly classic dodgems. So not only the fair, you've got the old classic fun games to play, hook a dark, knock the cans over, hit the targets, dance. That's blooming hard. An Arabian derby, love this. So walking into the pavilion, places to get food, obviously, pizza, fish and chips, all that kind of stuff. There's also a supermarket on site if you want to get any extra bits. So I think they've just finished a show in here, so it's fairly quiet to have a walk around. I remember going into Reds in Skegness and it was absolutely filthy, so uh, that was a lot cleaner. So let's go and check out the Skyline Pavilion.
lots of things to do in here, amusements, you get some food. And I tell you what, if you look up, which probably a lot of people do not do, you see how dirty it is. I mean, just look up there. That is pretty gross. In fact, there's some tape being used over the other side. So they've even got bowling in here as well, which is pretty cool. I can't remember the last time I've done bowling, or actually when I picked up a bowling ball. Long time ago. I always used to be rubbish at it anyway. I can't say I've ever seen this before. This is football pool. Weird. <laughs> You would have thought the table would actually be a little bit bigger though. Oh, they smell good. Gourmet hot dogs. If you are a big fan of Butlins, it has its own store, so you can go and check out their own merch. I wonder if it's expensive. It probably is. Let's go and check it out. Everything Butlins. It's basically like a Disney store, but for Butlins. $14.99. So they sell merch from all the shows that they do. Wow. <laughs> that is great. Maybe I should get that for Thumper when he's born. It's pretty big, 24 99 that is. So they sell chocolate in Butlins. Butlins own chocolate, 2 99 Good read, Billy Butlins story. Oh, it's an offer, 5 99 You can even get a Butlins Domino set. Butlins fudge, Butlins cookies. And if you're already missing Butlins, even whilst you're here, you can actually book your next holiday. Probably one of the most popular places to eat on the park. And then up here, you've got a few fairground rides for the kids. So yeah, this is the Skyline Pavilion in Butlins, Bognor Regis. So that was my tour of Butlins. I hope you liked the video. Please make sure you give it a thumbs up and give me some ideas about where I should visit holiday park wise next in the comments below. As always, I'd really appreciate it if you could hit that subscribe button and click that notification bell so you know when I upload more videos. From Butlins, I'll see you next time.